matchup we have in front of us. Zerutin and Zelda versus Mr. E, Lucina, and they're going to be going on Battlefield. This is usually their stage of choice for Game 1. And right off the bat, Zerutin is able to get the down throw into the back air, already racking up 35%. You know, sometimes it really takes me aback seeing the percentage that can rack up quickly in Ultimate. Because <laughs> it's like only after a couple of moves so much is put on. Yep. But he manages to answer immediately only after like a couple of interactions. And uh, Zootsun getting a fantastic punish with the dash attack on Mr. E for whipping his side view like that. And right now taking more and more damage for the nail. Um, Zootsun tried, uh, tried to land a falling up air, but unfortunately was not able to connect it. This is probably going to be Zero to None's biggest hurdle of the night, is how well can he come off the ledge versus E, because he's able to tango when it comes to the dance, of getting back to ledge, getting yeah. the damage back, but if he can get his feet back on the ground, that's where we can honestly say it's an even battle, but E in charge of the ledge is terrifying. Yeah. And especially there, like you saw Zero to get a little bit too antsy, forward airing his shield like that. Mr. E just waited. He just waited for him to drift back, knowing he'll connect an F-Smash right about now, and he'll clean up the stock. And so Zero is trying to get something started. Mr. E beautifully spacing the down tilt on Zero to shield, making sure that he won't get hit by any of those lightning kicks out of shield. We've seen a plenty of dash stop forward tilt, too, from e. Like a really good spacing tool in this particular matchup because as we're seeing, CTN he's trying to put out the retreating projectile game with the Phantom. And we know that he can get plenty off of either that hit or the response from Phantom as he does manage to tie up the stock count. But yeah. also, like, E trying to quickly respond as safe as he can, I think, is really smart. It's something that CTN needs to catch on to if he wants to maintain a lead. And I really, really love what Zutsuna did a little bit earlier to get off of ledge. He set up the Phantom below the stage, which forced Mr. E to shield. And granted, he still got hit by the upbeat, but it doesn't matter if he'll take a little bit of percent because he was able to get right back onto stage for it. And now, uh, Zutsuna has all of the stage control he could possibly want, but Mr. E able to get back and down tilt him for the Phantom setup. Yeah, from the perspective of Mr. E, Lucina is not so much playing the numbers game so much as like, the macro game of maintaining that stage control. Yep. Because as long as E has a safe place to land and general control of center stage, Battlefield is his. He can take back any type of situation. He can surmount any percentage deficit. But ZTN, when he's hot and he's hot, he can really take that away from a player. He can nail platforms away from someone, deny center stage, but he needs to get himself a lead to really have the space to do all of that with Zelda. Okay, now Zutsuna is able to set up Phantom, and this is a re-grab for Mr. E, but unable to connect the down smash. That was really, really peculiar, getting the falling up air, not enough to take out the stock, nor was Mr. E able to connect another up tilt. Um, Zutsuna opting to fade back and set up the Phantom. Mr. E, very, very smart to respect it, making sure that Zutsuna cannot cross him up on a shield for it. But Mr. E, disregarding all of that, able to take out the stock with an up air. Wow. I just love the way that Sayutsun is taking the stocks in the set with like these really, really like raw smashes. The F smash in stock one and the up smash in stock two. Like you have to really play from your heart when you're fighting against Mr. E because he's a player who plays off of like a sense of just knowing how his opponent wants to react so well. You can respond with that same style of play. It works just as effectively against E. And to ZTN's credit, he does have very good reactions. Yeah, Zelda may not have the fastest of moves, but ZTN has such a good sense of how to utilize Zelda's kit that he's able to compensate like the slower startups of the more aggressive moves with just having a really good sense of when to put it out. Yep, and something I really, really want to note about the set right now is usually Mr. E would get a lot started off of Zero to Nuns. Well, wow. Don't miss your text. Don't miss your text against Mr. E. Never, not once. So far on the stage, but I want to say that um, Zero to None, when fighting Mr. E, would get punished a lot for trying to up B right onto stage. You're getting really, really aggressive with his uppies. And I just want to commend him on the way he's playing with so much restraint and with so much, like, um, like, like he's playing so conservatively, making sure he's not over committing to those things. Um, and as a result, you know, you saw him, like, get really, really even. But Zutsun has to make sure that he is not missing those texts because, as you saw, he lost his stock at, like, what, 90? Yeah. You, you, can't, you can't be giving Mr. E any, like, extra help when it comes to, like, taking anything from you. He doesn't need the help. And the DI mix-up for Mr. E, 
able to successfully subvert Zeratanon's attempt to lightning kick him. And he's like, no. Huh. Alright, I, I respect the fact that they're both staying swinging. And this set, like, you see both of these players going a whole lot more aggressively, but it's actually working out for the Mr. E. Uh, Zeratanon going with the beefy upbeat, not able to connect it, and he has to find a way to land right about now, getting F tilted all the way off stage. He is playing with a ridiculous amount of compression right yeah. now. Already having nailed away the first stock of ZTNs. It's just that matter of stage control. Like, ZTN really had nowhere to land. Like, no escape to the ledge was safe for him. It just meant more percentage. And when he tried to land somewhere near the stage, up areas and up tilts just met him. And this set so far, like, already, like, Mr. E's playing completely differently than he did stock one. Going off Zeratin on a little bit with his momentum shift. Because stock one, he was going in, he was making sure to completely capitalize on all those landings. And right now, Mr. E's playing a whole lot more reservedly. And so Zeratin is struggling a little bit to adapt to the pace of the game. Now, one thing I want to bring up really quick, though, is take note how Mr. E is trying to spend as little time as possible in the air. Anytime ZTN sets him up into the air, he beelines it back to stage. He yeah. keeps a lot of his aerials on the shorter end, just making sure to squeak him out and get himself right back on the ground. I think that's really important to note because of, like, how well both of these guys can control his flats on this stage, because forcing the juggle just means so much damage. Yep. And right now, getting the kill with the neutral out, and this is looking like a very, very convincing lead for Mr. E, a three to one stock lead. Mr. E not wanting to risk a landing, but catching Zeratin on sleeping a little bit. He wanted the footstool. Yep. The backfield, right. not quite enough to take it. Trying to set up a phantom, but Zeratin on committing to the down out, not even getting the soft hitbox, but the full hard hitbox of the down out, more than enough to clean it up on Mr. E's part. And I love the use of the neutral B though by uh, Zeratinon. Just threw off Mr. E's timing a little bit, knowing that he can't contest with that kind of uh, like stall. Oh, what's here? Let's see the wavelengths with the right in E's face. He wasn't really prepared for that switch of an option. That's been a more recent development from ZTN's play, and I really think he's integrated it well. Almost getting the down air again, but Mr. E, I believe those things. Uh, does he get involving ability on his up B? It's one frame. I do. I swear to God, I heard the down air connect, so could be just me, but I think it's very, very entirely possible that he was able to armor through the down air. Regardless, right now, Zeratinon sitting at 133% at this point. A back air at ledge could take it. I think even an F tilt might be potentially enough to close out the game and end the set. Yeah, with like minimal amounts of rage clocked in at this type of percentage, he should be fine to end out of stock. Yep. I'm more worried about if ZTM's gonna try to make this comeback happen because he's a player who can play very well when pressured. But so you're asking for too much if you're yeah. swinging on shield like that. That's gonna be a pretty yeah. defiant 2-0 for this game. Yeah. So, like you saw, like Zeratinon was starting to bring it back a little bit, but after he was getting juggled so much in the first stock, you just maybe saw him maybe get a little bit tilted, I want to say. He was getting really, really antsy, yeah. wanting to land like as soon as possible. Um, and as a result, he took so much percent for it and then ended up dying. Really